This is Copper 90 and these are our top five Football Manager Wonder Kids. At five, it's Freddie Adu. The Championship Manager Database geniuses got a sniff of young Freddie when DC United drafted him in 2004, aged just 14. Never once to sit on the fence, they predicted great things for Adu and set his stats to evolve into a world-beating superstar by the time he was scarcely out of short pants. It was always going to be tough for young Freddie to live up to that kind of hype and unfortunately he struggled to match his in-game prowess. He is now playing for his 13th club, the Tampa Bay Rowdies, in the North American Soccer League. By any objective standard, he's had an interesting, if underwhelming, career, but Championship Manager's ridiculously high bar ruined Freddy for all of us. At four, it's Cherno Samba. Cherno was another who was tipped for the top age 14. In the game, the Millwall Academy player was unbelievably prolific, banging them in at every level. And it seemed that he was on his way to superstardom in real life too. After a trial at Liverpool, Gerard Houllier was desperate to sign him and offered an incredible two million for the Gambian-born striker. Millwall chose to hold on to their starlet, however, and the breakdown in the move left Samba disillusioned with the game. Despite representing England at every level from under 16 to under 20, Samba's career petered out. He played in Spain, Finland, Greece and Norway, but only made 52 senior appearances over a 10-year period. Despite that, he's still loved by football fans the world over for his brilliance in the alternative universe of Football Manager. At three, it's Mark Kerr. Mark Kerr was as good a box-to-box -box midfielder as you could possibly find in Championship Manager. The player who could be snapped up from Falkirk on the cheap and would never fail to impress, whether you were playing with Barnsley or Barcelona. Although his career hasn't quite hit those heights, Kerr has proved himself as a useful journeyman throughout his career with spells at Falkirk, Dundee United, Aberdeen, Dunfermline Athletic, Dundee, Partick Thistle and Esteras Tripolis in Greece. Kerr is now back playing for Falkirk, trying to help the team to reach the SPL. At two, it's the man with the greatest name in football, Tonton Zola Makoko. Back when playing Championship Manager 0102, the routine was always the same when starting a new game. Sign Tonton from Derby County for peanuts, stick him in behind your front two and sit back as the goals rain down. Rams fans must have thought they had a right gem on their hands as Makoko honed his trade in their youth system for three years. However, a combination of personal problems and unfortunate timing meant that he never got a chance to strut his stuff in England. He ended up floating around the lower divisions in Sweden and Europe for a couple of seasons, occasionally getting calls from avid CM fans who wanted to know whether he was finally going to get the big move he so deserved. I've no idea where he is now, but I hope he's still playing in the hole and banging in the goals. And at number one, it's Kennedy. If you had an obsession with purchasing players who played across the attacking midfield positions, none were more versatile than Kennedy Bakichioglu. Kennedy banged in the goals from behind the strikers with consummate ease. Starting off at Hammerby, he was frequently my first purchase in the game and never ever let me down. In the real world, Bakichioglu hasn't done too badly either. He has represented Sweden on 14 occasions and played for Ajax and Racing Santander among others. He's now back at Hammerby and we were lucky enough to speak with him for our documentary earlier this year. He is a true cult hero in Stockholm and is enjoying the twilight years of his career, adored by some of the most passionate fans around. Those are our top five Football Manager Wonder Kids. If you think we've missed anyone, let us know in the comments section. Also, let us know your craziest Football Manager moments. Have you ever put on a suit for a big game? Organised the end of season party? We'd love to know. And don't forget to subscribe to Copper 90.